Welcome and thanks for joining me for Semiconductor Insights Teardown of the Sony PlayStation 3. My name is Don Scanson and I'm the Product Technology Manager for Semiconductor Process at Semiconductor Insights. Here you can see my good friend Dan in our lab beginning the first stages of breaking open the PlayStation. Probably a bit of a sad sight to uh, some of the gamers that might like to play around with this station. Um, some high level view here we can start to see some of the major components stands just uh, breaking off some power supplies and things like that. Our general interest in the PlayStation is that Sony has a reputation for introducing some innovative technology in the devices on these gaming units um, including over the past uh, several years um, their embedded DRAM and things like that. They've also shown um, a great deal of innovation in terms of shrinking down all of their devices and improving their uh, cost to manufacture game gaming units. Although the Sony is, is quite late, it's also uh, is by far the most expensive gaming unit on the market today. Um, what we expect to see uh, are some of the chips being in their first, very first generations and um, Sony planning to scale them down. The most significant one in that respect, of course, is the IBM Cell Broadband Engine uh, Microprocessor, which was originally expected to be designed in IBM 65 nanometer process. Um, here we can see Dan getting now into the more interesting layers of, of the board uh, with some of the major um, chips that we'll be looking at later. Now we see here Dan's going to begin to take apart the uh, the fan for the heat sinks of some of the major power hungry components in the PlayStation 3 design and once this starts to come off we'll see some interesting features. Um, the PlayStation 3 incorporates three major Sony chips um, uh, including the cell processor um, from IBM and two other Sony devices. Here's Dan's pointing out some of the um, careful attention to um, control of heat in the device um, since these are very high performance ICs. Um, getting back to the general uh, architecture of the PS3, it does include the IBM cell processor along with um, the Sony Reality Engine and the Sony Graphics Synthesizer plus Emotion Engine, um, which would appear to be a departure from what uh, Sony presented at ISSCC this year. Um, where the block diagram of the gaming system did not uh, suggest that there would be a graphic synthesizer motion engine as we saw on the PlayStation 2. The PlayStation 2 was the first time that uh, the graphic synthesizer motion engine was combined on a device. And now you can see some of those big devices starting to appear um, that are still covered with the heat sink compound um, there to extract the heat from the device. This shows um, the major feature of the Sony here as well using the four um, RDRAM chips for the main memory, some of the uh, power control devices off to the side and Dan's removing the uh, compound there to get a, a peek so we see the three three large metal covered chips are the, uh, are the core that I mentioned and just looking around at some of the peripheral devices now. So thanks for joining us. We'll have more uh, details on uh, these chips and in the PS3 unit um, very soon. Bye for now.